reading a romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy. And it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Monday. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video is going to be romance books with great mental health representation. If you don't know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And I just saw Nikki do this video recently. I'll link her channel down below so you can watch her video. I did this recommendation video once before so I'll link my previous video down below in the description. The first book I want to recommend to you is Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. It is about Jasmine, Jasmine and Josiah. It is about a divorced couple, Jasmine and Yasmin and Josiah were married once before, but two tragedies occurred in their family. Um, I'm just going to tell you what those tragedies are in case it's a trigger warning for you. First, um, Josiah's aunt dies, and then... Yasmin miscarries her pregnancy very late in her pregnancy. So if that's a trigger warning for you, miscarriage, please be aware of that. Yasmin asked Josiah, Josiah for a divorce because she's not in a good headspace and she knows she needs to take care of herself. She goes to therapy, but it's been two years since their divorce. And even though they tried to move on with other people, they still have lingering feelings for each other. I love how Kennedy Ryan sh shows um, Yasmin mental health journey about her and her depression, how she finally found the right therapist. And I love that Josiah is now open to therapy and that he found a therapist that he really likes. Also, their son is going to therapy in here as well so there's a lot of mental health representation in this book it's a great second chance romance i just love kennedy ryan so if you haven't read before i let go yet please check it out the next book i want to recommend to you is saint by sierra simone here we follow aiden bell Aiden was going out with Elijah, his brother's best friend, but a tragedy happens in their family, and after that tragedy, Aiden, um, he gets se severely depressed, and there's thoughts of su suicidal ideation and he goes, he leaves everything behind and decides to become a monk. The story starts out with Elijah going to the monastery where Aiden is at and telling him he's going to get married, but he's writing a book so they have to go to this monastery tour thing 
for wine because of it, his article. So it's their second chance romance. Um, when Elijah finds out about what Aiden went through and how really depressed he is, he's completely shocked because Aiden never told Elijah that he was going through any of this. And that's the whole reason because he was because struggling he with suicidal thoughts and something was calling him towards God. I don't God. want to spoil it, but something was calling him to God, basically. And the, their story was beautiful. Um, it's it's a lot to see how much Aiden struggles with depression. I read all the books in the series, but Saint is the most emotional one. And it made me cry. So if you like an MM emotional romance, please check Saint out by Sierra Simone. Next, we have Saving Six and Redeeming Six. It's Joey and Ethan's story. I know I talk about Saving Six and Redeeming Six. Redeeming Six a lot, but I love Joey and Ethan so much, and it fits for this recommendation because Joey struggled a lot with his mental health. Um, he comes from a very abusive household. Um, he, he, he stays close to the house just so he can protect his other siblings, his younger siblings like his sister Shannon and his younger brothers. His older brother, Darren, left him when he was in middle school, so he felt like he was the only person to protect his younger siblings. And Joey struggles with substance abuse because he's trying to numb the pain of what he's going through at home. Joey thinks he has nightmares that he's going to be like his father and he doesn't want to ever become his father. His thought, there is thought of suicide ideation in this, so please check your trigger warning. Even though this is set in college slash high school, this book is very heavy. It's so emotional, but yes. Joey struggles with his mental health and seeing Joey go in Saving Six, like really struggling with that and, and Redeeming Six, seeing him go find help for his mental, mental health. It's so beautiful to see, to get help with his substance abuse because his girlfriend, Aoife, is pregnant and he wants to be a better man. So he goes to like, I don't know what you call it, for those places to get sober and get help. He goes to those places and to see Joey's journey made me cry. The Stay With Me series by Nicole Fiorina. We follow Mia. Mia is a person who's emotionless, who doesn't feel emotionally attached to anything because of something that happened to her in childhood. 
and her her dad cannot take it anymore so he sent her to a reform school in England that is supposed to help her so not only is Mia struggling with her mental health but the people at this boarding school are also struggling with the mental health. She meets Ollie Masters and Ollie is a person who feels everything. So he is the opposite of Mia and it's their romance and I liked it. The mental health representation was very good in this, not only for Mia, but for Ollie as well. Because in book two, even when you're gone, you see how Ollie takes the wrong, is prescribed the wrong medicine, and you can see Ollie's spiral because of that so this series has great mental health representation and you can really see how medicines give being given the wrong medicine to treat your mental health can really affect you in a good way or in a bad way. Next we have Ever After Always by Chloe Lease. And this is a marriage in trouble romance. They, here we follow Aiden and Freya. And Freya wants to have kids. And she feels like Aiden is working so much and she asked Aiden for a divorce because she thinks that Aiden doesn't want her anymore but it's her parents wedding anniversary so Aiden goes to Freya and say let's work this out we'll go to therapy and please give me a chance so they go to this to this vacation with their fam with their family and they pretend everything is okay with their marriage what freya doesn't know is that aiden suffers from severe anxiety because aiden and his mother grew up poor so he feels like he needs to be stable in order to have children with Freya because his worst fear is not being able to provide for his children but he can't open up to Freya about it and I just love this Marriage in Trouble book so much. I love Aiden and Freya. I love that they went to therapy together. You can really see Aiden struggle with his anxiety and how Freya is there for him once she finds out the reason for his for him pulling a, for him pulling away and working so much. The last book I want to mention is a series that I read a long time ago. It's the Winston Brothers, and specifically book four, we have Bo Winston. I read. I read up to book four years ago when the Winston brothers were on Kindle Unlimited, but 
I want to recommend book four specifically because it's about Blue Bo Winston and he's on the mechanic in, in the shop in the in the town and his romance his romance is with Sul Sullivan and they get off on the wrong foot because Bo thinks she is a stripper and that is not the case and they get off at a very bad start but so so Sullivan suffers from severe obsessive compulsive disorder she even goes to therapy for that and she's very standoffish and it's her romance with with a bow and I remember really liking it. I have to get back in the series. Um, Penny Reed does a good job discussing Sul Sullivan's obsessive compulsive disorder. And if you want to read about that, please go read this book. Those are all the books I have for you today. Please, if you want more recommendations, please check out my previous video and I'll leave, I'll leave Nikki's channel down below in the description. Please go watch her video. Please like it, comment, and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And let me know if you have read any of these books I'm curious to see. And let me know if you have any recommendations for me. Bye. Wednesday.